It was all set up after day one for a titanic tussle between the Land Rover Ben Ainsley Racing Team and the Emirates Team New Zealand. However, with just one point separating the top two, it was unfortunately the British weather that won the day, as torrential rain and gusts over 30 miles an hour battered the Solent coastline. It was disappointment too for the Duke and Duchess in Cambridge, who had travelled down hoping to catch some of the action. After retreating to dry surroundings, the Royals were on hand to give out the medals, and afterwards the top skippers spoke of their reaction to the weekend. Well, it's a real shame that we didn't get to race today, particularly the amount of effort I know Team Origin events and everyone has put into this event here in Portsmouth and the number of spectators and fans we had out watching the racing yesterday in perfect conditions. Uh, but that is the weather, unfortunately we can't control it. For us, you know, we're absolutely delighted to win the first America's Cup World Series here in Portsmouth. It's a great start for us in our America's Cup journey. Yeah, look, I think for, you know, for our first event, um, you know, as, as a new team, it's, uh, you know, we're really, really happy with uh, the position that we, that we got here in second on the podium. I mean, could have been a little bit different yesterday if we had have, uh, finished one place better off, uh, would have been great. But to be honest, you know, the amount of sailing that we've actually done together as a group um, compared to a lot of the other guys that are, are sailing around us, we're, we're very, very pleased. Really, 10 days only um, on the water for us on the Falling 45. So I'm really, really thoroughly pleased with how we've gone. So with Britain's quest to win its first America's Cup off to a winning start, the teams will next head to Gothenburg in Sweden at the end of August, with a return to Portsmouth scheduled for next July. Ben Treppis for Solent News Now.